As you know, God's Word is filled with promises. There are over 8,000 of them. My promises, vows, pale in comparison to His. But here are my 8,000. We'll be here a while. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously, I only have seven. You may have caught a glimpse of them as you walked down the aisle. They describe love, and since I love you, I thought they would be fitting for my vows. I vow to be patient and kind. I vow to not be envious or boastful. I vow to not be arrogant or rude, nor insist on getting my own way. I vow to not be irritable or boastful. I vow to not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoice in truth. I vow to bear all things, believe all things, hope for all things, and endure all things. With God's help, I can and will fulfill these vows. And they will extend far beyond just these few promises. One thing that I cannot promise you, and that is to love you for the rest of your life, but I can, and I do promise that I will love you for the rest of mine. Mark, I love you, and I need to thank God for you. For years I have been praying for my husband, what I wanted and didn't want in a husband. Even at times, I could not express what I truly wanted with words, and I would pray in the Spirit to convey what I wanted and, and, God, and, and for God's will on who He had in mind for me. I knew that the Heavenly Father loves me so much that He would bring, know what's best for me and who would bring me the perfect match to, to me. Then you came along. I am truly blessed and you are more than I could have imagined or prayed for as a husband. I want to praise him today. He, his will is being fulfilled. I, Rachel, take you, Mark, to be my wedded husband. And with deepest joy, I came into my, I come into my new life with you. As you pledge to me your life in love, so I too happily give you my life and in confidence submit myself to your headship, us unto the Lord. As in the church in her relationship to Christ, so I will be to you. Mark, I will live first unto God and then unto you. Loving you, honoring you, caring for you, and ever seeking to please you. God has prepared me for you, so I will love, help, comfort, and encourage you. Therefore, Throughout life, no matter what may be ahead of us, I pledge to you my life as a reverent and faithful wife. I give you this ring to wear. Oh, I don't do that yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will be giving you this ring to wear as a symbol of unconditional love and this covenant that we're going to have. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Sharing. <laughs> nice and loud make some noise for the reason we're here tonight give it up for mr and mrs mark sherry 